Welcome back everyone. In this video, we will take a PNG file, convert it to an SVG file, uh, import it into Bamboo Studio, and I'll show you how you can raise some parts and lower other parts. So effectively, you can have uh, parts pop out, other parts uh, be sunk in or embedded, and you can give a unique look to your 3D models. So what we'll do is we'll actually go to uh, this website just to pull up a logo. I'll take the Ferrari logo and we will save this. All right, and we'll go back to a website that I've frequented, which is the vectorizer.ai. We're gonna drag this down. And I'm actually just gonna take um, just the left side, so we'll shrink all of this down. Uh, that's good. All right, so we'll just download this. Download, and all of my items saved to the desktop. All right, let's open up Bamboo Studio. And we will drag this in. And typically when you drag in one of these files, uh, it'll probably take up the whole build plate. We'll shrink this down, not till its final size. We're gonna keep this large for the most part initially. Um, all right, so what we're gonna do is let's actually paint this first. It's a simple graphic, so we don't have to do too much here. Uh, so we'll just paint that white, the rest of it's red. All right, so we're going to do a few things. Um, when you're in objects process and you look over to the left, each of these parts is uh, corresponds to a part of the model. Um, we're gonna do something really, really easy where we can actually have the horse portion raised and the rest lowered. Uh, so I'll show you how to do that uh, if, through some simple steps. So we're just going to uh, right click on this. We will then uh, split this into uh, objects. All right. Now, uh, when we do that, each of these parts are, are now separated. Uh, so for instance, if I grab this whole, whoop, click out. I grab this whole red area. Um, the rest of it's there, but each one's a, a part. Let's revert back. Uh, so all we're going to do here is we're actually just going to click on the part that we want to shrink. Uh, we will then just go to scale. We want to take out um, or turn off uniform scale. And we're going to just shrink this. So let's say we drop this down to, uh, shrink this down to three and we've actually just raised the horse by sinking the rest of the, uh, the parts. Uh, now, there's a, a few other things that we can do here. Now, you'll notice the red in between the parts of the horse are still raised. Uh, the reason why I kept this large is we can actually start shrinking these down. Um, so it takes a little bit of doing, but if we click on each of these parts, and let's drop this down to the base, layer, which was three, we can start dropping all of these. The larger, the better, so you can actually click on these. Now again, these do correspond to a part over here, but it would take you forever to find it since um, you could have hundreds of parts. So I will painstakingly drop all of these. I won't have you watch the entire thing, um, and then I will continue on. Okay, so I actually went through every part that was raised course, I spoke too soon, except for this part. Um, make that three. All right. So now every single part that was red, I uh, lowered it so it's at the base le uh, level. Now from here, we just have to reassemble. Uh, easy way to do this is just hit Control A. You've selected everything. Uh, right click and assemble. All right. And just to make sure we're all right, everything's together. I'm going to shrink this down so it doesn't hit the uh, uh, prime tower. And we can then shrink this. So this will now be proportional. So as we shrink down, we have one part raised, uh, one part that's lower. Um, now, with this particular one, even though we're only really dealing with two different um, color changes, uh, or two colors, this will get kind of annoying to print because we're using a lot of filament. And there's a lot of filament changes uh, because we have a red base 
and we have 11 filament uh, changes and we want to actually have the edge of this white so we're just going to paint it uh, so we'll go back to prepare we will switch over to the painting tool and usually I use paint bucket but we're actually going to switch over to the height range and height range is nice because you can actually just have it paint an entire plane um, so right here this is kind of thin so we're just going to change the height range a little bit Right. and just make sure we're not touching the base. There we go. All right, uh, let's come down a little more. Zoom in. And we probably get that last sliver. Slice. All right, so we dropped the filament changes down from 11 and to 9. Didn't save a whole lot, but we should be able to print this and we should be all right. And actually, I saw a bit of blue in there, so let's find out. Why? Actually, it's an easy way to fix that. All right, so we're gonna go back to the paint tool. This may or may not happen to. Uh, we're gonna go to the height range again. Uh, we'll select red, and at the bottom, I don't know where this came from, but we're just going to paint. slice again. All right, so now we're in better shape. We're only dealing with one filament change, which is basically red base. When it gets to the, uh, the actual horse, it turns white once and finishes off. So I'll actually print this and I will see you on the other side. Mm -hmm. And we'll also um, go into um, another model. I actually will use my, my logo again mm -hmm. and I'll show you the process if it has like words and things like that. Okay, so that worked out well. So let's try a different model. We're just gonna use my logo again. All right, and same rules apply. Uh, you can shrink this or not, it's up to you. Um, if you wanna start large, that's that's fine, but we'll, I'll just bring this down just to make it a little easier to see. All right, so let's paint this like usual. Okay, so painting is done. Uh, we'll do the same thing. Right click, we're going to essentially break this into parts. So split into objects. And once in objects, we can start making some adjustments. So let's say that I wanna have this part sort of pop out. So I'll just click on that. And we'll go to scale, make sure uniform scale is off. And let's raise this to, let's raise it to seven. Let's raise the whole thing. All right, so that's sticking out a bit. And we can do the same thing for all the letters. I'll just do uh, each one individually. Change that to seven. And I'll just do the rest. And Okay, so I actually raised all the black areas up to seven while the rest is like 5.6. And we can actually click into here and we'll lower this one. So I actually want this lower than even the base layer. All right, so again, go to scale. Let's knock this one down to four. And we'll do the same thing here, knock down to four. And again, this will be proportional when we start shrinking it. And I actually wanna keep this part raised. So that looks all right. All right, so we're just going to assemble this. So again, Control A, everything selected, right click, then assemble. All right, so we are assembled. Uh, actually, let's do a quick check. Everything is raised. And I'm gonna do the same thing. I can basically keep um, just the top layer uh, black, but I actually wanna change this as well. So I'm gonna go back to the paint tool. So paint, 
I'm going to paint an entire level. So this, usually I consider two thin, so I'm just going to change the height range a little bit. I'll zoom in so you can see. And again, since we basically made all of um, the letters and the black portions raised, we uh, shrink this a bit. We should be able to paint pretty easily. All right, go to the top. Just going to go down just a smidge. And you'll know you've gone too far if the whole thing, just like that, turns black. So we're just going to go back one, and we'll do that again. But just pay attention to your line and you can either click and hold or just click it once but if you're trying to be precise just single click should be fine and we're almost there and I think one more and we've got it it's a little too soon As they say, don't let perfection get in the way of good enough. That's good enough. All right, now we can shrink this down. All right, so we'll go back to scale. Just going to grab the corner, bring this down a bit. And this should be in proportion. So I'll print this out, and I will see you on the other side. Thank you everyone for watching, and of course, if you have any comments, please leave them down below.